What's up guys, my name is Ace, and welcome back to another gun guide. This is the series where I go into great detail with all of the stats of every one of the weapons in COD World War II. In today's episode, we're going to be covering the second of the new pistols that was added with the Resistance event, and this is the Reich's Revolver. First up, as always, let's have a look at a couple of the in real life stats. The Reich's Revolver is a German single action revolver. It fires a 10.6 by 25 R round at pretty much as fast as you're able to work the action. I just put this at roughly 30 rounds per minute as a realistic rate of fire with this gun. Getting into COD World War II, we get a very unique damage profile at 48, 40, 22, and this means it's always going to be a 3 or a 5 shot kill. There is no 4 shot kill range in core modes. Our rate of fire is 342 rounds per minute, which is identical to the M1911 and quite a bit slower than the Luger as well as the 9mm SAP. Once again, just like the M Field number 2, we can't use rapid fire on this pistol. Our statistical minimum time to kill is 351 milliseconds within the 3 shot kill range, which is quite slow for a minimum time to kill. And when we drop off to that 5 shot kill range, it actually drops it all the way down to 702 milliseconds, which is painfully slow for a time to kill. Getting into headshots, we get a standard headshot multiplier of 1.1, and finally, we have one exception here. This is the first time where I've seen a gun in COD World War II where one single headshot without high caliber will change the number of shots to kill in core game modes. Up close, within its 48 damage range, which is a relatively short range, one single headshot mixed in with a body shot will make this a two shot kill. This is the one area where this pistol gets an edge over the 9mm SAP and the P08 Luger. Aside from that short range though, headshots are essentially useless for you unless you pop on high caliber, and with high caliber, one single headshot will now make it take one less shot to kill at all ranges, not just that short 48 damage range. Speaking of ranges, our standard 3 shot kill potential is exactly the same as the 9mm SAP as well as the P08 Luger at 37.5 meters. Beyond that, it's going to drop immediately to a 5 shot kill. And with advanced rifling, we can bump that up by 25%. As for hardcore, we get a 1 shot kill out to that 37.5 meters, and once again, if you pop advanced rifling on there, it will increase that 1 shot kill potential by 25%. As for our aim down sight aim assist range, normally I wouldn't cover this with most of the guns, but the pistols are a bit unique. This does have the good aim down sight aim assist range that's in line with all of the pistols aside from the M1911 and the Enfield number 2. As for hip fire, we have a very standard hip fire spread. It's the same as all of the pistols aside from the machine pistol. Same thing goes with idle sway. It's got standard idle sway for the pistol category. Generally, it's not going to affect your shot unless you're trying to challenge somebody at a very long range. Moving on to recoil, the Reich's Revolver has very little recoil, although it does have a decent amount of visual recoil, so it looks like your gun is actually kicking more than it does. It can be a little bit hard to track your target as you're firing, but just know the bullets themselves are staying in a very tight group, as you can see here. Moving on to our magazine, or in this case, cylinder capacity, we get a 6 round cylinder with 18 rounds in reserve, and obviously we can't put extended mags on this. Our reload add time is very unique with this gun because you reload each round individually, and also, each round that you reload, reloads at a different speed. So the first cartridge that you reload when you go to reload your gun, you technically reload that before the animation even shows you open the cylinder on the side. This one only takes 0.28 seconds, which is extremely fast. Then the second round that you need to load is going to take a whole second to reload, which is an extremely long time. And then each round after that is going to take 330 milliseconds between each round. This is very confusing, it doesn't line up with the animation at all, but just know if you want to reload one single round with this, you can do it almost instantly. It's as soon as you need to reload that second round, that's when it really slows things down for you. I should also point out, reloading this from empty takes an extremely long time. It's over two seconds, which is by far the slowest in the pistol category. As for our handling and mobility stats, they're all pretty standard. We've got our aim down sight and sprint out times at 100 milliseconds, and our movement speed is 100% with our aim down sight trace speed being 76%. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Moving on to my favorite attachments, just like with the Enfield number 2, there aren't very many attachment choices for this pistol, and therefore I actually have the exact same preferred attachments. This is going to be steady aim, high caliber, and advanced rifling. Now let's move on to an example class I have for you guys with this. Normally I do a couple, but honestly, there is no other class that I would use if I'm trying to use this gun as a primary weapon. This is the one and only class that I'll use because I really feel like you have to use shifty with this gun. So this is our class here. We've got the resistance division. Our primary doesn't really matter that much because we will be going pistol only with this, but I would recommend an SMG. Our basic training, like I said, this is going to be shifty. And with this, we're using steady aim, high caliber, and advanced rifling with a sticky grenade as our lethal. Now, the reason we're using the shifty basic training skill and we've designed this class around shifty is due to the reload time. 
You really don't want to be caught reloading this gun for two full seconds, and also you only get six rounds in your cylinder, and it takes at least three shots to kill your enemies, so it's a very unforgiving gun unless you have shifty, with Shifty, you can insta-swap your gun to reload it pretty much instantly. Now you don't have to worry about that reload time, which is one of the things that really holds this pistol back. And it's the one basic training skill that makes this pistol kind of usable as a primary. Having said that, it's still not nearly as good as a 9mm SAP or the P08 Luger because it does have a noticeably lower fire rate and therefore time to kill. So realistically speaking, the only upside that this gun has over the Luger as well as the 9mm SAP is the fact that you can get those headshots with just one shot to the body, one shot to the head, without high caliber, within its short 48 damage range. Aside from that, you're outclassed by those guns in literally every other category. And with that, we're gonna wrap up today's gun guide. As always, I'd like to know in the comment section below, what do you guys think of the Reich's Revolver? Personally, I feel like it's a pretty terrible pistol. There's no reason to use it over the 9mm SAP or the P08 Luger. And therefore, if you guys don't end up getting this pistol, you're not really missing out. If you guys have missed any of the previous episodes, including the Enfield number two, which was the other pistol that was added, I will leave a link to the gun guide playlist in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.